This is my Reddit post where I finally got VHL over three years ago. Now, as you can see, I was like super excited about this. I was like level 92, had a light caster, and in the comments, I elaborated like why, you know, I didn't bore up for it despite how badly I wanted it. And I said I got the first four Rungiums without knowing about glitch rooms existing. That's why I gave up for literally a year and just imagined getting it. And then a few months ago, I found out about glitch rooms and started farming bits slowly at a time. And someone actually replied over three years ago, what is it? They had no idea what it was. If you've been playing for a while, which most of you have, you'll remember that glitch rooms were what we did before the respawn times were faster. When I kill a monster, it respawns in about one or two seconds. But before this, it would take literally over five seconds at least for monsters to respawn, if not longer. The only way you could get fast respawns were if you did a glitch stream, which was like a kind of a long method and you needed two accounts and so on and so on. The majority of the player base did not use glitch rooms, they had this really long respawn time and this is how we'd farm things. Okay, now back to the topic of the video. Why is VHL so much easier now than it was before? Because what I explained was essentially just uh, respawn times, which has changed for everything. Well, if you look at the quest right now, it is missing a lot of things it used to have before. Now admittedly, those things weren't super important and they're just a bit tedious and waste a lot of time. Now as you can see here, there's a bunch of items that there used to be, which um, isn't here anymore. The list is a bit shorter. But that's only one change in the Nulgat farming items and there have been many more over the years. Now these are design notes back from January 2020. And this isn't the only change to the Nalgath farming quests, there have been a bunch more such as Swindle Bilk, probably one of the biggest updates. But you can pause the video and go over these yourself and see how it's changed since, you know, 2016 when the VHL actually came out. So the introduction of Swindle Bilk and the changing of these quests, a lot more people were encouraged to farm VHL which is great. And you know, my point is not, we should be making this class harder to get. In fact, I've never been like a, hu a huge fan of like some of these insane grinds that AE have made. I'm just doing this to really show the change in grinds since 2016 to 2020, I mean 2022. The most recent update is Ultra Nulgath. Now if you kill Ultra Nulgath you get 5 insignias and which means you can trade those every week for 2 Roan Geniums, which is actually huge considering this guy only takes like 10 minutes to kill if you have a good party. And finally I almost forgot to mention the farming class we had back then. Like in my inventory right now I have Legion Revenant, uh, Necrotic Chronomancer, and plenty more amazing farm classes in my bank. Back in those days, the best thing you could have was Blazebinder at level 65, which was the cap back then for levels. Whereas nowadays, some kind of level 100 Legion Revenant, fast respawn rates, better quest rewards, and Ultra Nulgat to get VHL in literally two weeks without much uh, effort. And back in the day, VHL was considered perhaps the hardest farm in the game, not including non-member NSOD. It was truly a ridiculous farm, like I actually gave up on it until I found out what glitch rooms were, and AG 100% made the right decision to introduce faster respawn rates. Oh, and Blazebind has been buffed since then, so back then Blazebinder wasn't even as good as it is now. Like to max out 500 t uh, tainted gem stack, back then that could take me like 5 hours alone. But the way AE now makes grinds is pretty different, like look at Archmage, it's the newest uh, hard grind class we've gotten. Now, I haven't gone Archmage yet, uh, I was planning on streaming a bit more, uh, streaming me farming the class, but that's for later. So, if you've been through the questline, you've seen what it takes. Some of the stuff here requires like insane uh, uh, monsters you have to kill, and also just, it's a harder questline in terms of what you actually have to complete. However, in terms of grinding, it's not as difficult as 2016 VHL, or even 2016 uh, Legion Revenant. However, the time taken is like, not as long, it's just harder stuff you have to do. And personally I think this is a better decision by AE, as now these classes are no longer about spending 100 hours in the game, but just you have to farm things in the right order. Like this class should be one of the last classes you farm, rather than just grinding for 100 hours at level 60. Anyways, let me know in the comments if you guys think this is the right decision, was 2016 VHL farming better than 2022 Archmage farming? Uh, let me know your thoughts.